Hey everybody, Dan here with Pain For You. Today's topic is going to be, when will I recover? So I'll get to that in a minute. Take a couple of nice deep breaths. Breathe in the confidence. Exhale the doubt. Breathe in the certainty. Exhale the uncertainty. Breathe in the peace and quiet. Exhale the noise. All right. So, when will I recover? <clears throat> I can't tell you how many times I hear that in coaching calls or, you know, similar questions. How long is this going to take, Dan? And my first response is, that's the wrong question, right? Because if you're asking how long this is going to take, you're putting a lot of pressure on yourself. And that's the farthest thing from indifference. And I know, I know, everybody says, Dan, will you please stop talking about indifference? That's impossible. I hurt too bad. It's too uncomfortable. I'm too freaked out over the symptoms. Stop with the indifference. What do I need to do to fix the pain? Look, we need to teach the brain that we're safe in our body our emotions and our thoughts, right? So that's when you'll recover, is when you have convinced the brain that your body's safe, your body's okay, it's not a problem, it's TMS, it's mind-body, and you're no longer afraid of your emotions because you're allowing yourself to feel them, and you're not too freaked out by your own thinking, right? Because so many of us scare the crap out of ourselves with our own thinking. What if I never get better? Oh my God, it's been X number of days, weeks, months, years. I'll never, I haven't gotten better yet. How, how come I, uh, you know, how come I'm not better? What am I doing wrong? I must be doing something wrong. And I get it because I did that for years, over a decade, I was struggling. And look, back when I was going through my 13 years of pain, this was before Facebook, YouTube, podcasts, all these experts, all these books out there, you know, I pretty much had Sarno's books, and there was one forum, tmshelp.com. As a matter of fact, it's still there. There's still some great information there. But for the most part, I had to figure this out on my own. And um, Sarno was all about what is TMS. He didn't tell you how to, how to fix yourself. He said, here's your daily reminders. Reject the physical you know, um, stop the physical treatments, talk to your brain, think psychologically. And for a long time, I said, I must be doing this wrong. Because I still have pain. But I've been talking to my brain. I've been thinking psychologically. I've been trying to figure out what's my, what are my emotions. And um, I must have been doing it wrong, right? I kept on asking the question, when's this going to work? When's this going to work? Now, don't get me wrong, when I first read Sarno, I had an initial, you know, pain elimination. And guess what? It came back. And it got rid of it again. Then it came back. It came back harder. And it stuck around longer. And then I finally, uh, you know, got to the point where frustration, fear, anxiety, focus on the pain, these things caused my symptoms to become persistent. They stuck around for 13 years. So was I doing something wrong? I don't know if I'd call it wrong, but I hadn't dialed in the right recipe of not caring and not focusing on the symptoms, right? Remember, fear and attention are the two things that, that keep symptoms persistent. I spent most of my 13 years fearful of the pain, fearful of the next major flare-up. If When I was feeling good, I was fearful of it coming back. I was focused on it, I was thinking about it, I was trying to fix it, I was trying to learn, study, everything else, and I was just really deep, deep, deep into this world of, I'm broken. And so when will I recover? It's a great question, and it's a bad question. Like I said, it's a bad question because it shows that you are very outcome dependent, when in fact one of the things that will help us get better faster is to be outcome independent which basically means okay I'm gonna do certain things 
and teach my brain that I'm safe because that feels good in general. It feels good mentally, emotionally, physically, right? If we keep on trying to fix ourselves and we spend all day long thinking about how I can fix myself and how I can expedite this and how I can get better faster, we're just applying our perfectionistic traits to recovery. And I'll tell you what, that doesn't speed it up. You know, and I've met people, and I've talked to people that have said, I'm going to quit my job so I can focus on recovery 100% of the time. I'm saying, no, that's a bad idea. Because all you're doing is utilizing these neural pathways that are keeping the pain signals going by thinking about focusing and trying to heal yourself all day long, every day. All right? We want to shift our attention away from the pain, not focus on it more. And so wondering, when am I going to recover? You're constantly waiting for that day on the calendar to show up where all of a sudden, boom, you're better. And so it's the wrong question to ask. It's a great question because it's a legitimate question and people always want to know. But the question doesn't help you get better faster. It just puts more pressure on yourself to do it right and do it fast and do it quick. And then cause us to second guess and judge ourselves as to what am I doing wrong? And oh, by the way, indifference is a very powerful tool to say to the brain, okay, I got pain today. I don't care if I do or I don't. I'm still going to have a damn good day and have some fun and be productive and, you know, live my life. That's what indifference looks like. But saying, when am I going to recover? It's nowhere near indifference. Actually, it's closer to the freakout zone. It might not be completely in the freakout zone, because, but it's still impatience. Impatience, you're showing resistance. What we resist persists. I know cliches, you know, I'm sick of them too, but it, it's actually true. When you're fighting the pain and when you're struggling to get rid of it and when you're impatient and really anxious to get rid of it, ugh, all you're doing is using these neural connections. You're not going to want to let go no matter how hard you pull on them, no matter how, hard, how mad you get, no matter how frustrated you get, no matter how sad or despondent you get. Nobody ever freaked their way out of pain. We have to care less about it. And I know that's counterintuitive. And I know we all want to get better faster. The best way to get better faster is to not care when you get better. I've also had people say, you know what, Dan, I'm like 90% better, but I got this 10% that's left. How do I get rid of that? I really need to get rid of that. I'm like, stop trying. What? Why would I stop trying? I really need to get rid of it. This 10% is really bothering me. I'm like, okay, so you're completely ignoring the fact that you're 90% better. Your life is infinitely better right now, but now you're just going to hang on to being pissed off because of that little 10%. And hanging on to being pissed off over that little bit is what's keeping that little bit around. And so, I'm sure many of you are saying, 90% better, wow, I'd kill for that. That would be, that'd be awesome. I would love to have that. It's possible. It's out there. But looking at the calendar and counting the days and looking for reasons why you're doing this wrong is not the answer. We don't need to try to hurry this up. When the brain feels safe, the brain will settle down the nervous system and these pains will fade away. Sometimes all, all at once, sometimes a little bit at a time, sometimes it's a zig. They'll drop and then they'll come back and then they'll drop and come back. And the more calmly you can respond to any zigs and zags and them coming back, the faster the brain's going to learn that, wow, look at them. Dan's not really upset about this whole pain thing, so I guess it's not a big deal. Look, he's focused on normal stuff. He's doing normal things. He's actually having a good time, right? When you look at the calendar, you're telling your brain, I'm in danger and I need to get out of danger. When you're impatient, you're saying, I don't like this. This is awful. I get it. It is awful. I know. Been there. Done that. But again, when will I recover? I can't give you a date. I can't give you a time frame. I can't give you a number of days, weeks, months, years. But what I can say is, 
when your brain no longer believes that your body's the problem, and you're no longer afraid of the pain or the other symptoms, and you learn to shift your attention away from the symptoms or the pains, that's when you'll get better. So if you want to know when you're going to recover, it's when you're no longer afraid, you shift your focus away, and your brain actually believes you when you say, my body's fine, I can trust my body. I think that's when you'll recover. The question is, how long is it going to take for you to consistently teach your brain that message? You know, if you're still freaking out a lot, and still catastrophizing, and still worrying, and still watching the calendar, brain's not believing you that you're okay. Right? The brain doesn't feel safe yet. So, that means you're still fearing the pain. So look, fear and attention. Turn them down. Convince your brain, teach your brain that your body's okay. When you get those three things right, pain's going to fade away. So that's when you will recover. So, love you guys and gals. Been a long day. I'm going to wrap this one up. I will see you tomorrow. Take care.